Good morning, folks. Bay State Yankee here. Uh, today, we're going to be unboxing and setting up this Gorilla Carton. Uh, I, I wanted one for a little while. I frankly didn't know about it a year ago, but uh, a good friend of mine who's a neighbor has one, a smaller one than this, and let me use it briefly and check it out. And I think it's going to fit all of my needs. And uh, my needs, I'll show you as I, as I finish fix, setting this up. But uh, <clears throat> in the meantime, let's, let's uh, go over the benefits of this car. What I like about it the most is it's a full seven cubic feet of capacity on the inside. And it holds 1,200 pounds. Now, not that I'm going to move 1,200 pounds, but I'm moving firewood. And I want to get as much in a trip as I can, as I physically can, without doing a lot of lifting. Uh, I also like the way it dumps. Uh, it's, a, it's a new feature, apparently. Uh, the older ones don't bend up like this that much. But uh, it's, it's a great... It's like 28... 0.7 inches wide and I have to put it into a shed with a three-foot door So I'll be able to back that thing right in there um, I'm really excited about it So but and they say it only takes a few minutes to put this thing together So let's let's kind of get started and open this thing up and see what's going on There it is. Uh, decent sized tires. Uh, it looks like they have inner tubes in them. And this is really key for me. Uh, being, being up in the cold weather in the winter, your tires lose pressure. So you go to use it in the middle of winter and suddenly you have a flat tire and you got to stop and fix it. But this looks like he has, uh, they put inner tubes in these. And I really like that. So there's your four tires. I should have got new blades. This is the hardware, the handle, another thing I like about this is minimal packing. Uh, sometimes you open these things and there's, there's 400 pounds of packing material. But it doesn't appear to be that way right here.
and the instructions. Okay, now I'm going to take a moment to read the instructions, which are very important, and then um, we'll get started on doing this. Okay, I've read the instructions. Um, <clears throat> there, it looks like there's seven easy steps, and they're all photographs, which is really helpful. And then they have the hardware list, and they've taken the time to put the hardware in, in sections according to the step in the instructions. So you know exactly what you're looking for. So we're gonna work on step one. There's the hardware for step one. Um, somebody was thinking when they did this. Anyway, so let's, let's get this going. to the, the bin. There was a little plastic flashing on the inside of those holes. It made it a little bit difficult, but nothing that we can't overcome. Step two. Um, two bolts. They go right here. These are all uh, 13 millimeter metrics.
three, we're going to assemble this. Um, there's four bolts. The two long ones go through here, and the two short ones go through here. So I'll have to flip it again and pound these through. They made the indent, the square indentions in the plastic so that holds it on and then the whole bolt stays flush with the surface so you're not catching it with a shovel or something like that. I'm going to loosen these two uh, nuts to make this assembly a little bit easier. They're on there tight and okay. Put that on. A couple of washers. And they fought to give us uh, locking nuts so you won't have these things falling off on you. But it's a brace and you want it tight. Okay, now we go to step four, which is installing the tires. Uh, real easy, even easier than the rest. In fact, it's harder to get into the plastic than it is to install the tires. Okay, this is how it's done with the air nozzle on the outside. Slide that on, put a washer, and a pin. Slide that pin there, pop it down, that holds it in place, tires on. If you get a flat and you need to repair the tire or something, and you don't want to move the cart with a flat, you just simply pull that pin, take the washer off, slide the tire off, get the tire fixed. So we'll put these on.
Pedimos. And this tire is a little soft, so we'll have to check the air. Before we load it up, we'll check the air pressure on the tire. Tires are on. On step five, we're going to flip it over and we're going to put the handle on the front. And when I say handle, I'll show you what I mean. When we... Now we're working on step five. Um, I flipped it down onto the ground. It was easier than doing it up on, on the bench. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to attach this, which is the handle for dumping and the catch to hold it in place when you're not dumping. And that's four bolts. And I go to step five on the bolts, there's four bolts. And the washer goes on the inside, not the outside. Again, they molded the plastic to hold the bolt in place, or the nut rather, and uh, that's that's like so helpful. Just snug these up. And that's the dump handle. Now we're going to put the pull handle on. One bolt. Easy to figure out. It's the last one left. And that's it. It's all together. Um, this has a handy little feature. If you happen to have a uh, lawn tractor or something, and you want to uh, you want to pull this <clears throat> with your tractor, you can simply pull this pin, slide the handle down, hook it up to your 
your machine and haul it with that. Uh, I don't, but I got it for the, the basic hand use. So there it is. Um, <clears throat> this would have gone a lot faster if I had had a battery operated driver, but I don't, I, I operate by hand. So um, I'm kind of old school. <clears throat> so in any event, um, it would have gone a heck of a lot faster with that. Uh, but that being said, um, it's all done and What I like about this is it's real easy to pull, push. So the tires are 13 inch tires. And when I want to dump it, pop this, it catches, it catches right here. And then notice the back, how it kind of articulates a little and it pulls those back tires closer to the front, which allows you to dump it, fully dump it, uh, depending on what you have in there, I guess. But I like the idea of the uh, holes for the stake body. If you're doing brush or something, and you know you need that extra support on the sides, um, this will go a long way. So let me show you what I'm going to use this for. So this is what I'm going to be moving with this cart. Um, this is the new one. And this is the old cart. <clears throat> and this old cart is something right out of the 70s. This is similar to what they used to call a garden way cart. It had one axle with the bicycle tires, and you would put the bulk of your weight right here over that axle. And then you could just lift that handle and move it along. And in all the ads, they showed folks uh, on their homesteads and stuff, moving like bales of hay and stuff like that. Well, yeah, I get that, but um, you could probably get one good bale of hay in there and then that's about it. And yes, it was easy to move, but the problem with moving firewood is that axle only takes the weight of the wood that's over it. And all of the wood that's up here, which is like two thirds of the weight, you are lifting way back here. And it's extremely heavy. Now the trip from here to the storage bin is roughly 145 feet so i would come out here and i would get six cubic feet basically and i would schlep it in the 145 feet unload it and then come back so it's basically 290 feet you know for a round trip in order to fill my bin it would take about 9.6 trips or 10 trips basically and that's if I lasted that long. So now I have a seven, seven cubic feet and that seven feet is basically the bin size. I can put sides on this and load it up even more, which I may do, um, and then load it up and haul it. But I'm hauling it on two axles. So I'm not doing, I'm not lifting it. I'm just simply moving it along the ground. And with the wider tires, I think, especially in the wetter seasons, it's gonna be a little easier for me. So this will probably get retired. Uh, I'll put it away for the winter, but um, you know, both my wife and I are getting older and she doesn't want to admit it, but we are, and we can't lift. And usually when I move like when I move in firewood, I move like three loads maybe, and then I'm done, you know, so I can't do that. I just can't keep doing that. And then 
um, in the wetter weather, I can't have the person that delivers the wood drop it back here. So they have to drop it in the in the driveway and I got to move it all out, stack it, and then, so I think this is going to work well, plus I can use it in the summer. Um, <clears throat> so that that's certainly going to help me out. And then I saw this on a video. I watched this guy out of uh, Central Ontario, Canada. Uh, he's got a, a YouTube channel called Sawing with Sandy. And I urge you to check him out. And he was doing a lot of firewood handling. And his problem was bending down to pick up the pieces. You know, after a while, it kills your back. And you know, he's a lot younger than I am. So I thought, you know, I'm going to try this out. So he got this thing. It's called a it's called a hooker rune. They have another item called a picker rune, and the difference is a picker rune. This comes out at a different angle, totally different, and it's actually used differently. So this hooker rune is good for moving firewood. So as you can see, I have a step here to get up, especially when I'm working in the back here. And then if I need to reach something, all I gotta do is hook it and I can pick it up and put it right, put it right in the, in the basket. Um, really nice, you know, up in here, you can pull the pieces out I'm sorry, pull the pieces out like that. Um, it's really nice, and it's very, very light. It's only like a pound or two. So it's hollow handle. I'm not sure what this material is, but it's guaranteed for life. Um, so I don't know. If you're doing a lot of firewood and your back is bothering you like it does me, um, I suggest you maybe investing in one of these. Um, I think it will help you out a lot. So I guess that's about it. Um, I can wrap this up and uh, put the card away for today. I think I'm all done. But uh, this, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that anymore. You know, it's just getting too much. But I think once my wife tries this, she's gonna love it, and I do. So I think it's well worth the money. And speaking of the money, I got this at uh, Lowe's and it was 180 bananas for this gorilla cart. Um, I think it's well worth it. Um, I think of how many times I spend days after days just nursing a bad back because I've done firewood. I think I can get rid of all that time and I think it's worth the, it's worth the bananas. So. Gorilla cart, thank you very much. Um, boy, I hope you sell a lot of them. And uh, I think that's about it. Now I think it's coffee time. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you in the next video. So this is the, the Fiskars uh, hooker room. It's an XA-22. I understand, I think they also have a 26, when, and that signifies the length of the handle. Uh, I have a long arm, so I went with a 22, but you know, if you're using it for other purposes, maybe you would you'd go 26. Um, and it says here that you can drag and stack logs. Rugged uh, boron steel hook full lifetime warranty. Um, and then as you can read, easily drag logs and extend your reach with a tool featuring a toothed head and a curved hook for superior grip. Um, it, I can't say enough about this. Um, these folks really have it together. Um, they know what they're doing. And it's a good brand anyway. You know, I found that, uh, that other things, you know, cutter, lawn trimmers and stuff like that, uh, 
it's just a good brand. You know, they, they simply know what they're doing. So uh, I check into it. Uh, it'll certainly help you out. It comes with a neat hanger hook. And uh, I use it a lot. So, okay, thanks.